Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Mara, I'm back with a new video. It is about 10.30 p.m. right now, but you know what? Time doesn't matter in quarantine. It's irrelevant. Also, I just got a ring light. I know, finally, some professionalism up here. This is like my first time using it, so please let me know, you know if you like this setup, if you think I can do some things better. Let me know how it looks. Anyway, on to the video. So I asked you all on my Instagram what video you wanted to see next. And out of the three options I gave, the most voted for was my jewelry collection. Just a disclaimer, I don't have any bracelets in this video. I just personally like, really don't like things around my wrist unless it's like tighter on my wrist. Except for scrunchies, I like scrunchies on my wrist. But if it's gonna like dangle or something, I don't know, I just don't like that feeling. So I don't have everything I own with me back home because I left a lot of things in storage. But all of my jewelry actually fits into this really cute small travel size container. So my mom got me this container when I was studying abroad. It has this cute palm tree. And if you open it, there's like various pockets and like a place for rings and such. Let's start with earrings. So for earrings, I basically either wear studs or hoops. I don't have a very big variation of earrings, but the ones I have get a lot of wear. I have these silver like crystal studs. These are great everyday studs. They are very subtle, but they give you like a little sparkle. I really like the circle shape of them. I'm not sure why, I just prefer like the circle shape over squares or anything. I think it's really simple, but also just like really beautiful. And I can wear these with like anything. Typically when I'm wearing jewelry sets together, I like to wear like silver together and gold together. And that depends on like the type of outfit, like cool toned or warm toned outfit. But I feel like these I could wear with anything. And these studs I believe were a gift from my mom. Keeping in line with the silver trend, I have on these silver hoops from Brandy Melville. If you can see, it's like a half circle, like the hoop doesn't fully close, which makes them super easy to put on and take off. What I also like about Brandy Melville's jewelry is it's cheap. I'm pretty sure this was like six to eight dollars, which is great. And it's also lightweight, like this is actually a hollow hoop. So it might look kind of thick, but it's not heavy at all. I just feel like hoops can take an outfit from like a two to like an eight. Like instantly look more fancy, even if you just have a plain simple t-shirt on. Now moving on to my gold hoops. These ones are also from Brandy Melville, but they are a full circle. The earring hole is more like a clasp that you put through your ear and then you clasp. And then you clasp. I cannot say clasp. <laughs> The earring hole is like a clasp that you put through your ear and then you clasp it on the other side. And I'm pretty sure these ones are hollow too because they're also very lightweight, which I like because they look pretty thick, but they're really light and don't weigh down your ears. So these are my more fancier hoops. I do have a more everyday skinnier gold hoop and they're super simple. They just have like a little twist in like the metal. These ones are also the ones that you like clasp through the other side. These are super casual, very lightweight. If I'm not feeling, you know, dressing up, wearing a lot of jewelry, but I just want something very simple, I'll just pop these in. Moving on to the fun pair of hoops. I actually have two of these. I got these as a set from H&M. They're pretty thick. It came with an all gold pair. It's not a full circle, so it has a backing. I think the gold pair is back in storage, but that's okay. So this pair is super fun. I really love it. I'm obsessed with leopard print, as you all should probably know by now. So what's cuter than leopard print hoops? I love wearing these when I'm wearing like a simpler outfit and I can really like dress up my jewelry. And I just think they're super cute and they stand out. Moving on to necklaces. I have this necklace on, it was a gift. It's this really cute small heart with pink like gems on it. I've been wearing this a lot during quarantine because it reminds me of the beautiful memory. A lot of my jewelry actually was gifted to me and I just think that is so special because you know every time I wear it I'm thinking of the person that gave it to me and I just think that is so sweet. The next one I have is this beautiful guest necklace. There's a heart with rhinestones and a key. It has this very like robust industrial chain, but it's also very light, like it doesn't like hurt or anything. It doesn't weigh me down. When I got this, I was obsessed. It was also a gift. I wore this so often, like it was my everyday necklace. I think it's a statement necklace, but it's not too much of a statement where like you can't wear it in a row or you can't wear it with like a full on outfit. I love the edginess of it. Like, I always try and dress a little bit edgier than I am just to, you know, give off that vibe. And I feel like this is like the perfect amount of edginess for me. So yeah, I love this. This is one of my favorite, favorite jewelry pieces I own. And my last silver necklace is this lock necklace from Brandy Melville. 
This lock necklace is like a huge trend you see it everywhere. People will actually go out to like hardware stores and like get like actual locks and chains. I opted for a much simpler version. A simple medium chain and this really small lock. I also think this makes my outfits look a little bit edgier. It's a statement on its own like if I'm just wearing like a black or a white t-shirt if I just put this on. I've gotten so much wear out of this. Now to move on to my gold necklaces. This one was a gift from one of my best friends. It's an M necklace. I'm pretty sure it's from Nordstrom. One of my friends studying abroad, her name started with an M and she had this necklace and she wore it all the time and I was obsessed with it. Then come my birthday and like I didn't tell anybody about it. It was just like internal in my mind. Ooh, I like that necklace. I should get it for myself. I swear, it's like telepathy. For my birthday, one of my best friends from home got me this necklace. It was so sweet, she shipped it and everything. Also, when I got this one, I wore it for like weeks straight. I tend to do that with jewelry that I like. I don't really layer with this one because I feel like it's a statement all on its own. So the chain connects on like the top and the bottom opposite ends of the M. So it kind of hangs like diagonal on your neck. I think it's a really beautiful detail and I love wearing it with like plain tops because it really just makes that statement. Next, this is actually one of my most cherished pieces of jewelry ever. So when my family goes to visit Syria, we often get gold jewelry because it's like, I guess, cheaper there or something or better quality or whatever. So usually I'll exchange whatever pieces I got last time I was in Syria for new like earrings and necklace designs. But this time I had one specific thing in mind. I didn't want anything else. I just made it happen. So name necklaces were really trendy and I really wanted one of my name in Arabic, which if y'all didn't know, my name is an Arabic name, Miriam. So I found a picture of what I wanted online and we gave it to the jeweler and I like traded in all of my other jewelry that I had and they made the necklace for me literally exactly to the picture. This is the necklace that has my name written in Arabic. It looks beautiful. It's clear and I just think it's a super classy nameplate necklace. It reminds me of my culture. Literally every time I wear it, I either get recognized from like other Arab people that are like, wait, I know what that is. Like when I was studying abroad, ugh, Y'all are gonna hate me for these, but these are good stories. I was studying abroad, I got really sick in London, I was just coughing. I went to the pharmacy down the street. The people that owned the pharmacy were Arab. So I was talking to the lady and I was like, oh, these are my symptoms, I need this type of medicine. And she was like, sure, no problem, medium. And she like said goodbye to me in Arabic. And I was like, <laughs> she had my back. She knew that I was Arab because my name was on the necklace. So I thought that was just a really, really sweet connection and I love wearing this. This is definitely something I'm gonna keep like for a lifetime. Next, I have this really cute like choker type necklace. It's not a choker, but it comes pretty short. It's great for layering. It's very simple and lightweight. It has these little like gold sequins dangling from it. So I think it makes it like really cute and dainty. I'm pretty sure I got this from Forever 21. I was really into layering necklaces at the time and I knew I wanted something like this where I could easily put longer necklaces and make a layered necklace. Now let's move on to rings. So same with my wrists, I used to hate wearing rings because it just like bothered my fingers but I got accustomed to it in high school when we had high school rings. So this is my high school ring. It's MPS for the like initials of my school. On the inside, it has my initials, the town my school was in, and the years that I went to high school engraved, 13 to 17. So it's really personalized and sentimental. It holds a lot of value. I used to wear this ring every single day in high school, and I wear it a lot in college too. Just because of the sentimental value it holds, we had a lot of traditions surrounding our rings, which I can't tell y'all about because they private and all this meaning and tradition. So, you know, gotta keep this. I absolutely love this next ring. I got it when I was, you guessed it, studying abroad in Spain. I got it from like this flea market and I got it for I think five euros. Once you look at it, yes, it is a knockoff Cartier ring. I was just obsessed with the style and I was like, you know what, let me get a five euro one and try it out. I love this ring. It just reminds me of when I studied abroad. I wish I went back to that same market and bought more of these. I wear it all of the time. It's super comfortable and it's lightweight. And ever since I got this ring, I kind of got obsessed with like gold bands. I was like, well, I don't just want one on my hand. Like it looks kind of weird. I want to like stack them. So then I went on Instagram and I found this brand called Indigo Loon. And you know, I decided to try them out. Ended up buying seven rings. Yeah, I'm extra like that. But see, at the time I didn't have like enough rings. So I was like, I gotta stock up. So I picked out really beautiful ones. I got two of these crystal bands. They're in different sizes so I can like stack them on different fingers. 
I think these are absolutely gorgeous. I think they're great, like sparkle, little touch of detail when stacking rings. Plus, these aren't real, but like they make it look so expensive. So I really love these ones. Next, I got this like specialty ring, I guess. It reminds me of like a princess ring. It's rose gold, which actually I don't have any rings that are rose gold. And it's just such a beautiful pattern. Like I couldn't pass this up. I knew I had to have some type of statement ring and this was gonna be it. Every single time I've worn this ring, I've gotten some type of compliment or somebody asked me where I got it from. So yeah, I love this one. Next, I got this sort of like chain link ring. This stacked with my fake Cartier one from Spain is absolutely a beautiful combo. I really like the cutouts of it and I like how it's like a thicker band but it's not completely like straight like you can see the curves around the edges. I was just really obsessed with the cutout design of these bands so this is like a fake Fendi print kind of. You know it's fine because from far away nobody can really guess. But yeah I think this one stacked with one of the um, crystal ones that I showed you earlier is it looks so pretty. And I got two rings with Roman numerals on them. They're actually pretty different. This first one is a thicker band and it just has the Roman numerals like etched on top of it. I tried to get a mix of like thicker ones, thinner ones, ones with cutouts, ones without, so that I can mix and match and stack them. This is also a super comfortable ring. It's really smooth from the inside. This other Roman numeral one is one of my favorites. I really loved it because it has crystals on it. And I just think like those little crystals add some sparkle, they add some shine. So I really love this one, it's one of my favorites. I think it looks good alone. You don't even need to stack this with anything. Yeah, if you're looking for rings for a pretty good price and great quality, I highly request looking at Indigo Loon. This isn't sponsored or anything, although if y'all are interested, hit me up. But I just think they have really good quality rings. I would just advise that you kind of measure your ring size before you order so you know. Also order a couple of different ring sizes because your fingers are going to be different sizes. But like I said, I wanted a whole set of gold rings and I bought seven and I'm satisfied. Like I'm going to be set for a couple years now. So that concludes my jewelry collection. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this is the content that you were expecting. I didn't realize until now how much like memory and sentiment is attached to a lot of my jewelry pieces and I really love that because every time I wear it, I think about that memory or it ties me to that person or that place and it just gives it that much more meaning. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your favorite jewelry piece is. Make sure to follow my Instagram so you stay updated and let me know what other content that you wanna see. Subscribe because I make videos every Monday. I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye! Giving you Prairie Girl vibes.